Welcome back once again, you guys. I have, I'm almost embarrassed to do this video because I just did a Sephora haul when I went to the VIB Rouge event. However, from that time to now, Sephora has been blowing up their website with new products, new holiday releases, items that weren't available at the Rouge event because obviously the Rouge event is a holiday preview. So basically it is a sampling of the items and then they, I mean, bombard you with all the rest as they post them on the website and it's almost like a daily thing. So I do have another haul for you. I love watching hauls so I hope that you find this one to be enjoyable that you look forward to it <laughs> as much as I would like and look forward to watching other people's hauls. So let's just go ahead and jump right in so that you can see everything I picked up. Yes, there will be reviews on some of these items to come. I will let you know what items I'm gonna be doing a review on. And so that way you know um, to stay tuned in case it's something that interests you and you're wanting to pick up. So let's just dive right into this box. Okay, so I'm kind of trying to think where to start. The first thing, okay, the first place I'm gonna start is Fenty Beauty because I know everybody has been hearing about that. Everybody's been watching YouTube videos. At this point, a lot of people are probably sick of hearing about it so much. So I, um, I think I mentioned this, what video did I mention it on? Anyways, I had um, got up in the middle of the night to place my order because the last time Mac did a collaboration with Rihanna, I mean, it was mayhem. Anyways, so I thought, okay, I don't know if this is going to be as bad or not. I know it's permanent, so even if it does sell out, at least it will come back. Anyways, I, there wasn't a whole lot of information provided on what, like, swatches and this and that. There was a little bit here and there, but they really kind of, they kept hush-hush about it until the end, other than the few sneak peeks and trailers and things like that. Well, I picked up a few things, immediately had buyer's remorse, and I thought, okay, as soon as the order comes in, I'll probably return some of it because I'm not even going to use it. Well, here's the thing about that. As soon as I got in store for the Holiday Rouge event and started swatching some of this stuff, I was like, not only do I like what I got, I there are other things that I didn't get that I really like. So, I, I may have picked up a few things. Anyways, so I picked up four of the powders, and I think there are six. Mm, really should have only picked up two, and so they just they blew me away. So I really did want to pick up several of them. Um, there are a few things that I don't have in here that are still on their way that haven't arrived yet. Um, so I ended up getting a, with my order, a sample of the foundation because I had not, I was like, I'm not planning on picking that up. I'm not a matte foundation kind of girl. I really like dewy skin. But so many people were saying it's so great, you know, whatever. So I thought, well, this is perfect. I'll try the sample out. And I mean, no harm, no foul, right? If I don't like it. Okay, I ended up loving it. What is the deal? Oh, I, okay, that whole day, I could not stop looking at myself in the mirror. I felt so vain because I was like, I am not this, in, I'm not into myself. It's not like, ooh, I'm so pretty. No, none of that. I mean, I'm just an average person that has, you know, I mean, uh, kind of normal skin or whatever. It made my skin look so good. It's actually what I'm wearing today, and the sample that I picked up is a little on the light side, so I've had to bronze it up a little bit. The one I ordered um, is actually a step up. So this is the light with neutral, and I'm going to go light medium with neutral because this is just way too... I feel like, poof, like a ghost or something. <laughs> but anyways, it just... The finish is incredible. It almost makes my skin look like porcelain. And I've got normal skin and I don't find that this is drying out my skin or anything. I know people have had, most people have loved it. Some people have said it's just sucking the life right out of their skin. I've not had that issue. So I did pick that up and then the foundation brush. So those still need to come in and then I did pick up the confetti um, matchstick. So we'll see how that goes, but I did pick up four of these powders. I picked up Trophy Wife, which I wasn't going to pick up, but the reason I did grab it was because even though I probably won't use it as a highlighter, it's just too gold for me. But I thought, I can definitely use it as a eyeshadow. I did. And it was so bomb. I was like, wow, I want to wear this every single day. You've already seen this. This is what it looks like. Super shiny. This is unlike anything I have. I think a lot of people are saying the same thing. It's super sparkly. Super, super pigmented. Um, but the sparkle factor is what drew me in because on average I wouldn't be one to gravitate towards this type of color. Uh, just too, too yellow. Um, but I just, uh, 
I was like, yeah, the sparkle factor on that, I could, I could, I could use that. <laughs> and then I did pick up, um, let's see, Lightning Dust, Fire Crystal, Mean Money, and Hustle Baby, uh, Girl Next Door, Chic Freak. So, um, in case here, I'll open these up. I'm pretty certain you've already seen these, and I hate taking up time, you taking up your time, um, with stuff you may have already seen, but I will show you anyways, just in case there's somebody that has not seen this before. So these are these duo, where one's a little more subtle than the other, which you know me, I am not about subtle. With highlight, I am go big or go home, layer it up, make it pop, I wanna look like a disco ball walking down the street. But the subtle one on this one, gives your skin, it almost reminds me of the Huda 3D highlighters, it gives your skin this healthy glow that is beyond words. I'm like, mm, I like that. It's not what I'm wearing today, but just know that from a girl who does not like subtle highlights, I actually was very impressed with the subtle side of um, the highlighter. And then of course, the what I would consider the kilowatt side, I know it's called, these are called kilowatt, but to me kilowatt is the side that is more powerful. Um, <laughs> that is, it's amazing. So this is the lightest of the duos, and it's the one right there on top. Again, lightning dust and fire crystal. And then let me, I will quickly give you swatches of the other two. Uh, so I think the most popular one is Mean Money Hustla Baby. Um, I think just people are really loving this one uh, for good reason. Um, it probably is, the subtle side is probably the most subtle of all of the ones that I do have. Um, but there you go. Wait. So these two right there. I hope you can see it, but it is down there. <laughs> the subtle one you may not even be able to see. Um, I'm gonna wipe my fingers down because this is getting this is getting messy. <laughs> um, the last one, which I at first thought would be too dark for me, but once I swatched it in store, I was like this is so pretty and that is girl next door and she freak okay and this is going to be the more pinky of the two and this is probably the one i feel like where the subtle one is the most um, visible and pigmented So there you go, and that I took it all the way down there, which is not something I usually do, but I hope you can see those. I'm having trouble seeing them on the viewfinder, so I hope they're showing up on camera, but I did pick those up, and uh, yeah, I'm loving them. They're really, really nice. Um, I did pick up her, the cheek hugging or the face hugging um, brush for highlight and I didn't like it at all, so that has already gone back to the store. I um, thought it was supposed to have like a dip, and mine came like this. So I'm not sure if I got one that was just packaged, the way it was packaged is just kind of like how the um, hairs set, or what, but I was just kind of like, yeah, I, I could, my Anastasia A23, I just, I can't. That's, that's my go-to. <laughs> I also picked up the gloss. I'm not a really big, big gloss person. Anastasia are my favorite glosses because they're so opaque, but everyone was saying that this is so glassy and wet on the lips that I thought, I well, I'm gonna try it out. So it is very glassy on the lips. I won't even swatch it because literally if I put it on my hand, it doesn't look like anything. Um, it does have the very big doe foot applicator, which everyone is loving. I love it too. Um, because it makes it easy to kind of get, you know, you feel more territory with a bigger doe foot applicator than you do a, a really small one. So it is pretty, it does have a candy kind of smell, so if you're sensitive to smells, then I would not recommend that. Um, but let's move on from the whole Fenty thing. I feel like that took way too long. Okay, I did pick up the Hourglass 
Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. Now, I have one of these strobe powders in a little size that came in a Sephora Favorites set last year. Wasn't super impressed. To me, it was just kind of like a sheer powder with a little bit of micro glitter, which I don't mind glitter. I've told you that before, but I do want my highlight to pop, and that one did nothing but pop. That one did not pop. Um, it was very, very subtle, so it just kind of was not that impressed. When I saw that this one was going to release, I saw that Hourglass had put a description that it was going to be very metallic. And I thought I am willing to try that out again uh, <laughs> to see if that, I mean, heck, I can do three metallic powders in one palette. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. Here's what it looks like. It's silver. So if you remember the previous ambient lighting powder palettes in the sets of three, they come in like the bronzier type packaging. This one is silver. And these are the three powders that you do get. And I have not yet used these on my face. I've only swatched them and I'm pretty impressed by the swatches. So this is what they look like right there. Super soft. They do have that ambient lighting kind of um, feel. The really um, finely milled type powder. So that's what that looks like right there. More to come on this one. I will do a review on this because I am very excited to try this out. I would have tried it today, but I was really wanting to wear the Tarte highlight um, that was in the palette I picked up. So let's move on to the next item, which um, I want to say, has it released on Sephora.com? I don't remember. I feel like if it hasn't, it's going to release very, very soon. And that is the new eyeshadow palette by Becca, and it is called the Eye Lights Palette. Um, I love the packaging because it looks very winter, wintry, very, very frosty. So to me, it's the packaging anyways, very appropriate for holiday. And then the palette matches that. So this is what that looks like. And uh, here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like on the inside. So you do get, let me see, one, two, three, seven shades um, with that one in the middle that's more of like a highlight. So the purpose of this, from my understanding, is that this is kind of supposed to, kind of supposed to, this is supposed to mirror um, their shimmering skin perfectors for the face, but these are supposed to be the eye version. So I've already worn this for a couple of days. In fact, I already have quite a few thoughts. I'm probably going to wear it again um, to round that out so I can um, film something for you. Um, but basically the shade names, match the shimmering skin perfecter. So you've got pearl, moonstone, rose quartz, opal, topaz, and then there's a couple um, hot cocoa and toasted marshmallow, which I know are not shimmering skin perfectors. But that's what those look like right there. Um, let me give you a couple of swatches so that you have an idea. Did I? Hold on. I didn't even put one on that second finger. I am so sorry. <laughs> Here, there was four so that you can have, have an idea. Um, I want to say this one was 45. I was not able to pick it up at the Rouge event. I had to order it um, when they gave Rouge first access online, but that's what those look like right there. So they, you can tell they're very, very natural looking. They've got that um, satiny type finish, very natural. Um, so that's what they look like. More to come on that because I will be doing a review for you. Like I said, I've been using it for a couple of days now and uh, for the last couple of days. I'm not wearing it today since I filmed a different eyeshadow video. Um, but yeah, that's... Um, I don't remember Becca coming out with an with an eyeshadow palette for holiday before. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Maybe it was an Ulta exclusive that they did. Anyways, so just know that uh, more to come on that couple of things that are left. Um, one, I won't swatch for you, obviously. I pick these up every year and it's the Tarte brush set. These are always such an amazing deal. If you are in the market or in the need for, for brushes, as I say face brushes, it comes with a couple of eye brushes. These are always amazing. I have, this is how I have been able to build up my um, brush collection with good brushes because I pick them up when they come out in sets for the holidays. So $44, you get three face brushes, two eye brushes, and I'm so happy that this year it comes with a little brush holder. The last couple of years it's come in a little box, like too bulky to travel with, and I don't know what to do with them because I usually keep my brushes in a cup. So the fact that they did a brush holder this year, I am so happy about that. Um, let me see. I will tell you this was made in China. I know that's what a lot of people look for when they um, look for Tarte when they look for Tarte collections or Tarte holiday collections. I'm trying to see if it says, I guess it's online where it says what brushes it comes with. But anyways, basically powder brush, blush brush. Um, you've got a um, blending brush, kind of like a shader brush. 
A lot going on here. Oh, let me get you up close. This is really, really pretty. That holder is so, so cute. This was available on Sephora.com. It is available on Tarte.com. I picked mine up from Sephora. There is a different one on Sephora.com. So they came out with two this year, which they usually do. Um, so this was one of my purchases. Okay, so then... I did grab the Lila palette. Oh, I'm so excited. Excited, but at the same time, it's one of those things where it hurts my heart because it was so expensive. But I really do like that she has been coming out with these size eyeshadow palettes because honestly, the really big ones that are $230, I'm never gonna buy one of those because it's so expensive. <laughs> and I know once you weigh it out, cost per shadow, it's really a great deal. But when you have to plop down that much money on one item, it hurts a little bit more. So I like that she has been coming out with these because the packaging is so pretty. I don't mind that there's less shades. I would rather pay a little bit less money. And so this is going to be more of a pinky purple type shade palette. So that's what that looks like. And uh, I'm excited to test this out for you so that I can throw up a review. Let me give you a couple of swatches. Those of you who are familiar with Natasha Denona know that her shadows are usually pretty on point. <laughs> They're usually worth the money. So here's four swatches. I had heard that there were more metallic shades in this go around than there were in the last, which I am not mad about that. You know I love these types of shades. That is what... That's what I look for in an eyeshadow palette. I don't even know what's on my hand right there. Probably part of a baby wipe. <laughs> okay, there we go. Look how pigmented. That's one swipe. I'm so excited. I'm excited to try these wet on the eye. More to come. I will do a Dazzled or Disappointed on this very, very soon, within the next few days probably. Uh, so yeah, I did pick that up. Um, let me see. I've got just one more item that, or two more items, but of the same collection or line, whatever. And it's actually from Ulta. I just threw them in here um, because you can't do a haul with two things. Um, but you know how right now is the 21 Days of Beauty going on, and they had the Ofra highlighters on sale. And so I've heard nothing but amazing things about these. Um, beauty gurus are constantly raving about them, but I just... Sometimes for a more unknown brand, and I know it's gotten more popular and more well-known, but I had never tried it and it's not easily accessible other than online. I know Ulta now carries it, um, but $29 and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to pay $29 for a highlight. I'm not sure that I am going to like. Now granted, you can return it, but at the same time, uh, so much else releasing and coming out, I'd kind of rather buy that than this. However, for 21 Days of Beauty, these went to 50% off and I paid $14 for them. So basically I got two for the price of one. One I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep because I think it might be a little dark for my skin tone. But I got the ever so famous Rodeo Drive and then I also got Blissful, Blissful being the darker of the two. Oh my gosh, these things are super soft. Um, this is the way they come in their package and I will do, somebody requested, a couple of videos back, one of you requested um, that I do a review on the Rodeo Drive, so I would be more than happy to do that. I'm actually going to do a video on whether these are worth the hype or not, because I've been hearing about them. They've been hyped up for what feels like forever and a day. So I will do a video on that very soon as well. So let me give you a couple of swatches. I mean, but I will tell you up front that the softness, is that even a word? that the way these are so soft blows my mind. I mean, I don't know that I've ever even, I thought I had felt some pretty soft products and I'm not sure, like this is just, I don't know, super, super nice and soft. Makes me wanna keep on rubbing in the pan, but I wouldn't do that, of course. <laughs> so Rodeo Drive and Blissful, that's what those look like. And then, I'm gonna swatch them down here for you. And so that's what those look like right down there. Um, Blissful being kind of the more bronzy, pinky type shade. And then Rodeo Drive is the gold type shade. I hope that comes across on camera because it's not looking so great in the viewfinder. Guys, that wraps up my haul. My goodness. No more hauls for a while. I can't. No more hauls. I need Sephora to stop releasing stuff is what I need them to do. Because, I mean, every day it's like, this just dropped and this just dropped. And I'm like, I can't. I can't keep up. Uh, it's just, it's too much. But who are we kidding? Those of us who love makeup are like, ooh, a new thing to try. And then there we are, you know, check out. 
And then the next thing you know, you're at the end of the month and you're thinking, I spent way too, I am going on a spending freeze. But anyways, this is my haul, basically part two, because last week I feel like I just put up part one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, kind of a lot of stuff, maybe not as much as some hauls, but quite a bit there. Um, I do need to give you the verse of the day before I let you go. Today's comes from Deuteronomy 13.4 and it says, It is the Lord your God you must follow, and Him you must revere. Keep His commands and obey Him. Serve Him and hold fast to Him. Hold fast to Him, especially in this chaotic world. This world is nuts. So I just, you know, I highly suggest that you do hold fast to Him. There's a lot of truth. Um, it's nothing but truth in that verse. Guys, I hope you'll consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. And if you are new, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this haul. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll consider giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful or most likely entertaining. That's why I watch Sephora hauls. And if you want to find me on Instagram, you can find me at Michelle's Glamour. Take care. See you soon. Bye.